what are your your fondest memories of playing down there as far as actually not just the hotels but the actual games you know i think about it and i don't know what we drew back then probably six thousand or and i can't remember looking in the stands i think about it and i was so involved with the game playing and and it wasn't the audience or the fans or it was just the team and playing a game. It, uh, I think back and say, I don't know. It's hard to, hard to answer. And uh, we trained pretty hard, you know. I tried to eat right and slept right. And, uh, no, there was, again, a lot of pressure. And I always was and probably am today one that uh, believed in, you know, doing your best and, and uh, training and being in shape. And, being ready to play and uh, be as good as you could be. Eveleth, and this is uh, unbelievable, you guys never lost a game. For the four years I was there, but you have to appreciate that uh, hockey was, wasn't a major sport back then. You had very little high school hockey in the cities. Maybe St. Cloud up there and uh, St. Paul Johnson Southwest, but uh, you know, up on the range. Well, not everybody. Virginia didn't have a high school hockey team till I think the late 50s. Grand Rapids started late. So we, uh, we'd we go up to War Road and play War Road, Thief River Falls, Roseau. Uh, we didn't really play any Duluth teams. One year we played 11 games in the high school season and, you know, went to the state, so. So when, when you look at the state tournament, uh, the teams that you brought down there, can you uh, tell a little bit about the, the players on those teams? Yeah, we weren't, we didn't have numbers. We had kids, again, that played together for years. Uh, that was a big plus. Uh, we always had goaltending. Of course, then we, we always kid Ike and say uh, he had pretty good guys shooting against him. So he made us better and we made him better. So, uh, so for that reason, maybe we were tough to beat. Nobody did uh, beat us.